you have an Eskimo in your mouth? Mm hmm Really? No, I... Hi, people of the internet. I am doing a vlog day again today because my friend Liz is here visiting. And you guys seem to really like the last one. And there's a link up above if you didn't see it. And you want to see it. Hi. So I have no idea what we're doing in this vlog. The thumbnail and title probably will allude to that, but it is the past right now. Bye, butters. Yeah. Bye, buddy. Start. Ugh, wind. We're starting off the day by going and getting our nails done because my toes look like that of the Crypt Keepers and she needs to get hers done too. It's really smoky out today because all the fires are happening in Northern California. All that smoke is making its way over Tucson. And it's it's like super yellow and hazy and orange looking. It's really eerie. I was telling her how much cheaper the cost of living is in Tucson, Arizona versus New Jersey where she lives. And it's literally almost double as expensive in She's New Jersey. She's making me regret my life choices. This is how much I bought my house for in New Jersey. And do you see this? Look, look how huge this house is. There is somebody at the back door. Oh, sh**! Yay! <laughs> Do you know, yesterday I put out a video and someone said they wanted to see you in a video and I said if you get 250 likes on this comment, she'll be in a video. The last time I checked this morning, I had 600. Jesus, I've been busy, okay? <laughs> so there, she's in a video. I live a whole life, you know? <laughs> this wasn't even planned. We were sitting in the car and we were like, well, let's go eat and then we were going up to your direction we were like where's what's sarah doing and then she was sarah, this sarah was like well let me hit her up <laughs> i'm getting this what are you getting you're gonna eat a lime okay what it's meatballs and pasta and sarah got a sub <laughs> Damn, the devil's coming out of these vents. It's 110. Still need I don't go outside, Sarah. <laughs> you don't see TSX wagons hardly I'm ever. Van, bros. A smile says so much. <laughs> A what? A smile says. <laughs> let me let me live in the van in your in your driveway. Down by the river. Hi, it's the next day. This is the last day my friend Liz is here visiting me from New Jersey, but I still am gonna do a little bit of work in this video because I'm gonna incorporate it into this vlog. That's how I take time off because I'm a workaholic. I have to pull all four wheels off the Forester because I gotta get the tire pressure monitoring sensors out of these and swap them over to my new Rega Masters so I can put them on in the next video where I start installing the big brake kit and ripping apart other stuff. Tools. Tools, tools, tools. I really hope I did a good job at math because I'm trying to squeeze a 265 on a nine and a half inch wide wheel on this Forester with coilovers, which is gonna be tight. That's what he said. Off, off you shall go, wheel, off you shall these are the tires I decided to go with. This is not sponsored. I chose these purely on the specs I was looking for in a tire. It is the Bridgestone Potenza S007A. It is a 240 Treadwear Extreme Performance Summer Tire. The biggest challenge I was finding with this size was a 265 4518 does not give you a lot of options for a performance tire. I almost went with the Potenza RE71R. It was my top choice, but Bridgestone is discontinuing that tire and it was almost impossible to find four in stock anywhere. And plus, if I were ever damaged a sidewall on one of these and they get discontinued, then I'm screwed. I'll give you guys an idea of the comparison in the width. This is a 245, this is a 265. So it is quite a bit wider and that's gonna be pretty tight with clearing <laughs> that nine and a half inch wide wheel. According to my calculations though, I should have about 12 millimeters of clearance from the inside of the tire that sticks out the most to the adjustable collars for your preload setting on the coilover. 
So, and if it rubs at all anywhere, I think it's probably gonna be on the inner fender liner at full steering lock. What's that old creepy horror movie where the little girls are at the end of the hallway on their bicycles? I feel like that right now. You look like an ape wearing a diaper. <laughs> I'm at Harrison Performance right now, and this is about the only place in Tucson I trust to mount tires and wheels together without damaging wheels. Hopefully I didn't just jinx myself by saying that. <laughs> but that's what I'm talking about right there. B5 S4 with AP Racing brakes. Mmm, those BBS wheels or the BBS CHRs. Let's see what they got back here. I want to see this little mini GP. Oh, it's so rad. Look at that dry carbon. That is so cool. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with minis. I always have been. I love them. And this one is just absolutely dope. I love the four spoke wheels. It looks like X-Men, kind of. There's a brand new C8 Corvette right there. And I didn't even like pay attention to it. I just like beelined right to the GP Mini. Oh, by the way, there's a C8 Corvette. Anyway, there's some other cool stuff here too. That is the biggest Porta cooler I've ever seen in my entire life. That thing would literally suck a human into it. That's really morbid. Sorry. Mark IV Supra and an R34. And yeah, this right here, 2J swapped Conquest. Or is it a Starion? I think it's a Conquest. Might be a Starion. I love these. You don't ever see them anymore either. I'm sure the taillights are different between Mitsubishi and Chrysler. And I think, I'm pretty sure this is Mitsubishi. This thing's pretty rad. I have no idea how I got over here. I just kind of like appeared. A wild Sarah has appeared. You're doing Supra things. <laughs> smells like gasolina. Look at the baffling right here for the front diff. That's crazy. Heat exchanger like baffling. You could, you could lick it with your tongue and it would feel weird. I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> That's crazy, there's actually an independent caliper for the e-brake, just like you would see like on a aftermarket um, Willwood setup or something. I can't believe we got all this stuff to fit in here. I should say Charlie got all this stuff to fit inside here. <laughs> this is really smart. He built this into the bed of his truck. So you like pull that lever and- I It might not slide because the tires are rubbing on the camper. Yeah. Did the Hawkeye come in Aspen White or Satin White Pearl? Cause this definitely looks like Aspen White. I don't see any pearl in that. I do like silver wheels on a white car. Looks good. The valve stems that I got with the wheels, they are metal. However, they're not compatible with the TPMS. So I have some stems that are compatible, but they're rubber. So it means I'm gonna have to order metal ones and then swap them out <laughs> later. Kind of a pain, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna order a set right now. You should probably stop jacking off in the shop. You ready for the ending? <sighs> There's the first time you've seen the wheels. You now know what they look like. I already told you they're Regas, but you still can't tell what color they are unless you're really smart at reading whatever this screen is called. You know, Eskimo in your mouth? Mm-hmm. Really? No, I... I got the tires mounted up on the wheels for the Gump, and Richard didn't charge me for mounting the tires on the wheels, and I did not expect him to do that. That was really awesome, so thank you, Richard, for hooking me up. And if you guys are ever in Tucson, and you're looking for a shop, Harrison, check them out. I'll put a link to their website down below in the description, and their Instagram and stuff will pop up on the screen, because I'm good at editing like that. I just dropped Liz off at the airport. She had an early flight this morning. I think all flights actually are early when you're flying west to east, unless you have a red-eye flight. I think I'm just pretty sure that's how it works. Either way, it's time you guys see these wheels. I wanted to wait until everything was all done. You could see it all at once on the vehicle, but you've already seen these in the shop when I went to buy them, and I don't wanna drag this on and kinda like lead you guys along. So here are the new wheels for the Gump. Ta-da! 
I got gloss gunmetal for the Rega Masters. I put a lot of thought into the color when I chose the Pro Drives for the Forester, and I almost went with gold, but honestly, Subaru doesn't even compete in the World Rally Championship anymore. And if you look at all the new generation STIs, the factory wheels were gloss gunmetal. And I decided to stick with it with these gloss gunmetal Rega Masters. I love it. It almost looks like the diamond black color that comes on the Volk on the TEs. It's so pretty. It looks really pretty in sunlight too. There's a lot of pearl in the finish of it. And it is a nine and a half, so there's a, a pretty meaty little lip on here too. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put all some or none of the decals on the wheel yet. For those of you that know Regas, you know the decals I'm talking about. So it's Desmond and Rega Master. Then there's the one that goes around the lip of the wheel. I have them in red and white. I'm probably gonna do white, but I just don't know if I'm gonna put all of them on or not. I haven't made up my mind. You guys can let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. But now I gotta see if they clear everything and fit. So I'm gonna do some test fitting real quick. I did so much math, I'm pretty confident this is gonna fit, but we shall see. The wheel itself is light, but this tire weighs considerably more than the wheel. So it's kind of heavy. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> All right, oh God, this is out scratching anything. Please fit, please fit. I bought new lug nuts too, so I'm not using these old rusty ones. I just need to see for test fit purposes. Hell yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Plenty of clearance back there by the coilover and you can see where the adjustable collar is right here for the preload. No issues right there in case I need to adjust that. I'm really not going to know for sure until this thing is on level ground with the weight of the vehicle settled, but this will give me a rough estimate to see if it hits at full steering lock. Rotato, potato, rotato, potato. Okay, that's all the way turned to the left. All right, this is a rough crude check. Let's see. Oh, it's a football field. There's at least two inches between the backside of the wheel and tire and the frame right there. Again, like I said, this will change when it's on the ground, but this is just crude measurements just to satisfy something. <laughs> Leave me alone, okay? Potato, potato. Okay. Plenty of room. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Plenty of room. This is why you do measurements and you don't just go off of tire size you see everyone else using on the internet. 265, nine and a half inch wide wheel, fits perfect. Nice and meaty looking too. I love it. That's gonna be perfect when I have the flares on there because this is actually indented right here in the fender. So the flare doesn't protrude much at all. It's actually gonna be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. God, that looks mean. I can't wait to drop it down. And I like the contrast too of the gloss gunmetal. Especially in the sunlight, it's actually gonna be even lighter when it's in the sunlight. Oh, love it. These boys are thick, 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 thick. These are gonna go away, just FYI. No more mud flats. I'm gonna take them off and I put the wheel flares on. Sticky tire, sticky, sticky, sticky. It's a 240 tread wear in case you were wondering. Perfect actually for something that would be daily driven, but me can occasionally see a track like it. Here we go. As far as vlogs go, that's it for a little while. So I'm gonna get back to work in this Forrester brake conversion video. I'm gonna put up a car view next for you guys and I wanna try to knock this out in one video even though the rear end is a ton of work. I have to rip apart everything back there to do this conversion because the brakes don't just simply bolt up. Yeah, work that pull, cat. Work it. <laughs> what are you doing, mountain cat? Okay, so uh, yeah, car view next and uh, a lot more work coming on the Forester as well as the Focus because that cage is damn near done. So I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.